Right, so the first thing that I have been doing is changing up my training. So I realized during the first lockdown that I just was not enjoying trying to train in the same way that I would do you know, prior to lockdown with really limited equipment and limited space. So I've realized that I need to try and do something completely different to what I would do usually. And you, know, you see people doing it online, you know, people going out for runs, taking up cycling, and I didn't really get into either of those things and I really felt like I've needed something else. And recently I downloaded an app called Crossrope. This is not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I thought it could be helpful. I downloaded an app called Crossrope and started following one of their programs and it's a skipping app. Essentially it's just a skipping or jump rope based app and you do skipping workouts. I do it every single morning and I feel great. It's something completely different to what I usually do and it's just been nice to kind of get my teeth stuck into something other than you know trying to lift some half ass weights in my flat, which is never gonna be the same as doing it in the gym. So yeah, the last like two weeks or so, I've been doing those workouts every single morning, which leads me on to my second point, which is to build a stronger morning routine. My morning routine has been awful. I've literally not had one. I've just been you know getting up and sort of seeing what happens with the day. And you know, I think having a strong morning routine is so key in you know, setting yourself up for a successful day. Whether that's success with your fitness goals or whether it's with your personal or business goals, it doesn't really matter. I just think having that morning routine and being consistent with it is gonna be so key. So for me, my morning routine is I will not do anything until I've done my morning workout. So whether that's me rolling out of bed and going down doing it straight away, or whether it's you know after 30, 45 minutes of sitting on the couch, getting some coffee on monsters in and getting a little bit of energy. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as I'm getting it done before I start anything else, that's all that matters. So yeah, having a strong morning routine for me is key and literally the last two weeks since I've started doing that, definitely the best two weeks I've had during an actual lockdown. Um, so yeah, this has been you know a massive game changer for me and I highly recommend you find something you can implement into your morning routine which is gonna help you, you know, feel better and set yourself up for a good day. So that is the second step I'll be taking to get back on track. Almost 18,000 steps and it's not even midday yet. So something that I have been very bad at is getting steps in. I've been just super, super glued to my desk chair, sat in my little study and I just really not wanted to get out and I know that is a big reason as to why I'm not feeling my best because I'm not getting fresh air, I'm not getting any exposure to the sun and I'm just, you know, sitting indoors all the time. You know, I've had weeks where my average steps are like 2,000 a day, which is just nothing. So one of my goals is to get my steps up. I would like to aim for 10K steps, however, I need to be realistic because that's so much more than what I have been doing. So my goal is to get at least 5,000 steps in per day, but I'm obviously aiming for 10,000, but at least 5,000 because that's still an improvement from what it's been. And hopefully that in itself will start to help me feel better. And I think if any of you have been doing something similar, i.e. not getting out and about, do it. You'll feel so much better. As I've just shown you, I've already done like 18,000 steps a day. And that's because I went out and met a friend for a socially distanced walk because we're allowed to do that now. And... It was so good. It was so nice to get out of the house and just enjoy the fresh air, get some steps in. I probably did a bit too many steps because my legs are absolutely fucked now, but it was a really, really good way to set myself up for the day and I feel so much more positive about the day. Don't be disheartened by seeing people going crazy with their lockdown steps and, and runs. Like, Do what you can, get yourself out and about, get some fresh air and it'll make you feel 10 times better. So that's a big goal for me at the moment. 5k steps, obviously aiming for 10, but at least 5k steps a day, um, I think is realistic and something that I'll be able to do. And then for number four, drinking lots of water. It might sound trivial, but you know, I've had issues with my skin and just, you know, it's something that's easily forgotten. You know, people often forget to drink enough water and I've been making an extra effort to drink as much water as possible. And you know, it's gonna help with hydration. It's gonna help flush out the toxins in your body, keep your skin clearer. And yeah, we all need water, so make sure you're getting lots of it in. What's that? <laughs> okay, so do you want to, um, can you just come and sit here actually? Like, no, 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 because it's uh, resting my no! arm. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Get your fucking do leg off me. 
you really like to go for the easy option, which sometimes doesn't benefit you because it means that you're like, you'll grab whatever you can, like from the snack drawer. Right, like even if you had, you'd have, say, say it was full of protein bars and you had three meals a day. I feel like you'd honestly eat six protein bars rather than having to make yourself like a proper meal. Yeah, this it has the, to be convenient and easy. This is the thing with me is like I will, and he said it really well. Put it really well the other day. She said like you're like a gamer, in the way that gamer I eat. lifestyle. Like I will wake up in the morning, I'll crack a monster. Classic, and then I won't really eat until I feel like I'm. I really need to eat. Mm. And then I'll grab something really quick and easy, like a protein bar, like Annie said. And yeah, I won't really eat anything proper until either Annie makes me something or I'll order it on Deliveroo. Um, and that's- Is your, I always think your focus, which is obviously great because of your job, but your focus is always on like hitting a protein every day. Yeah. But protein doesn't have like, Micronutrients. Yeah, in, so like, like I'm, so. I'm, I'm like a little bit too good at eating just for aesthetical purposes, which is obviously all well and good, but it doesn't make you feel great, especially during lockdown. Like it's not all well and good. It's not. It's not yeah, all well and it's good. The of all well you've got to get your greens, your veggies in. So just strip it back, and you've got to get your five a day in. Yeah. So that's I've been making him like little, <laughs> little plates for like carrot sticks and hummus. Yeah, I'm a child essentially, but um, yeah, that's a massive thing for me. Is just trying to improve my micronutrient intake uh, and just help myself feel better. My skin has been pretty bad the last few months and that's something which can really help with skin and it is definitely something I need to work on. So you that need I to look after your insides to look good on your outsides. I don't know if that's a Andy quote B. or I just made that up, but if, if I made that B up, quote. you heard it here I'm first. i trademark that. But anyway, my arm is killing me. So it's great to have you on the show. I'll have you back next time. Okay, And see you uh, yeah, sweet. Much Bye. love, boos. Guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you found this one useful. Obviously, you know, it's been a difficult year and I really wanna use this video and my channel as a way to kind of show you what I'm doing day to day, week to week to get myself back on track. So if you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.